Hey, thanks to everyone who's been supporting our channel. Everyone else, what are you waiting for? Just like and subscribe already. Hey guys, Tyler here with Bad Boy Outdoors. Uh, today, got a different type of video. Went to Cabell's today and uh, picked up some Magpul parts for my Remington 870. So right now it's got the wood stock, or uh, wood stock and four end. Okay, so for starters, I'm going to take off the uh, wood four end. Um, it's not in bad shape, just, you know, wanted to uh, go all black and see if Magpul stuff's worth it. So, take the end cap off. Oh, motherfucker. Well, you got it, huh? It came apart. <laughs> the whole gun came. Okay. Okay, so now we got the uh, Magpul over here. We're going to open it up. Supposedly, it comes with a tool. That makes life easier. And it does. This is what we needed. Okay. And while we open it, we might as well show everything. Nice sticker. And then the forearm. That feels pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna look nice. Okay, so let's see if we can get it on here. Uh, so there's little teeth on this. Okay, and then there's, if you see in here, there's grooves cut out. So you're supposed to put that in there and unscrew. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's tight. Ooh. Let me try the other way if it's reverse threads. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that's really tight. I don't want to break. This is like plastic, just so you know. So I don't want to put too much force and then break it. I'm going to put a little WD-40 on it. That always saves the day. Hopefully. Actually, liquid wrench. Is that better? Yeah. I think you want to do it closer to that. There we go. Uh, yeah. She's loose now. But, well, it's still tight though, that's the problem. Now I gotta try to do this thing. Yeah, but at least you started it. <laughs> Jeez. There we go. Jesus, I gotta go to church on Sunday. <laughs> so just words of advice, if your gun's older, I imagine if it's right out of the box, you know, it'll be easy, but it's like uh, rusted on there, and uh, that gave us a fight. We ended up using a hammer, a screwdriver, we almost broke our little plastic tool, um, so that was a bitch. Now we gotta try to get this out, which uh, I'm supposed to put this one here, I think, and tap it. Maybe not. No, that was definitely not the right thing. I need something I can just put over the thing and tap it out. Oh, maybe if I loosen that a little bit, so it's... Yeah, oh, there oh, you go. Okay. <laughs> I don't need it. You good? Yeah, you can. Okay, so if you look there, it's a little rusted. It gives a hard time coming off, so then you just pull that side out. And you got your piece. Um, so I'm just going to wipe it down with a paper towel, get some of the liquid wrench off, and uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, that's from the threads there. So, solid. So now this part, so it slides freely until there. If you see that, uh, your threads aren't showing yet, so... I think you just have to force a little, yep, just force a little bit, and then your threads show. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, and then there it is. So then 
we will put the that back on. Let me just wipe it down quick. Okay, and then we'll screw it on. There we go. Smooth as Yep. Yeah, it's right on the money. Okay. That's on perfectly. As you can see, right there. Perfect. Okay. Now, time to reassemble. I'm not sure there's two things on each side that you have to press down. Okay, I just got the one. Now this side, there's one as well. Which you kind of just have to feel for. There we go. Then we'll put the barrel back on. There we go. Okay. And then end cap. Okay. It's pretty nice. Works pretty smoothly. Feels nice. Hmm. Makes it look cool too. So now we'll move on to the stock. That's not moving. Give me a fat one. Fatter Phillips. There you go. Motherfucker. See if I can get that out of there. You know what, just, here, just hammer it out. Oh wait, I don't even need to. I can access the hole. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Alright. It's tight. There's a wall through. Oh, I don't know if I can get that fun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know if it's long enough. Oh. Got it. Oh, man. You gotta have to have the right tool for the, for the job. These guns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take it easy. What it looks like. Little nub. Little <laughs> nub. And then, okay, here's the stock. Okay. You got your stock, and then you got some uh, extensions. I'm guessing to make it a little bit longer. More extensions. And then your hardware. Looks like it attaches, so instead of going through the butt stock, like the other one, it goes through right there. Right, so, where is it? Oh, right, right there. there. You can see the hole. Okay. Yeah, so this looks like it goes in here. Get that, show that. So it's flush. Okay. That's what it seems, at least. Okay. That goes on there, like so. And then once we screw it down, it should go flush. Hopefully. Okay, take your, it's a Allen screw. Drop it down the hole. Can you see it? Okay. And then take this. 
Okay, and then last but not least, this has to go sliding in somehow. Okay. Okay. Listen, I've spent far more time doing far more annoying things. Just like that, easy peasy, anyone can do it. Wait, wait, your head was, <laughs> your head, your head was cut off. Let me say it again. Just like that, easy peasy, anybody can do it. Just kidding. Pay someone else to do it. <laughs> How does it look? What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. It's tactical. Does it feel nice? Yeah. Feels more of a rifle with a little bit of like a tapered grip on it. Doesn't feel like your traditional shotgun. Nice little rubber thumb thing there. Yeah, handles nice. It's textured. Nice rubber pad. Soft. So just for price wise, this stock was $110. This was $30. So total $140. To make your gun look like this. Is it worth it? Probably not. <laughs> did I get it? Yep. But it looks nice. How long did it take to, to do, would you say? Well, we started at what time? It's uh, about an hour and a half. Roughly? I don't even no, think it. I didn't no, think about it an hour. I don't know. But, you know, got these guns here. 